So welcome to Technodad Life, where we build, learn, and create as a community. And on today's episode, we're going to be going over three plugins. So the first one is Rest Perms, Wake on LAN, and Auto Shutdown. And these are very handy plugins because they help us sort of turn on and off our server and our other uh, computers. So then we can save energy, which means we save money. And so today's question of the day is, what are you going to be using Wake on LAN for? And if you want to keep up with what's happening in our community, make sure you like and subscribe down below. And here we go now. So today we're going to install three different plugins. If you haven't already, install OMV Extras because we need that for the plugins. We're going to click on plugins. And so we're going to scroll down and we're going to click on auto shutdown, reset perms and wake on land. And then we're going to click install and yes. And once that's done, click close and then okay. Okay. So the first one we're going to actually go to is reset perms. And so for that, we're going to go to shared folders. And then you can now you can see there is a reset perms tab. And so what you would do is you would click on the folder that you want to reset the perms. And so resetting perms means changing the permissions of the folders. And so typically I put everyone read write. And then you would also click clear all ACLs if you changed anything else. And then you would click save. And then you're all done. And so I actually only suggest this as a last resort because it can mess up things sometimes. Okay, so next we're going to go down to auto shutdown. And so this is a way to shut your computer down, uh, your server down at nighttime or whenever. So it's not using up so much electricity. And so what we do, would do is click enable and then uh, whatever sleep cycles we want. So basically what it's going to do is go to sleep after 180 seconds, six times with no results. And so here you can have, you have different per permissions here. And so you can go to either shutdown, hibernate, suspend, or suspend hybrid. Also, you can force it to stay awake. So say stay awake between the hours of 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. And then you would just click OK here. And then here it's looking to see where computers are connecting from and then the system log and any options down here. There's a readme to find out more. And then what you would do is once you've clicked that all or got that all how you like it, then click Save Settings. So uh, another way to actually do the same thing is go to power management. Actually something interesting here. So basically what this does, if you don't know, is in settings, you can specify what happens when the power button is set. And so for like me, I usually have it on standby. And so for scheduled jobs, you can actually do the same thing. You can schedule your computer to shut down or reboot. First thing, uh, we can do something similar here, but this is mainly to uh, reboot your system if you don't do it very often. So you can set it in standby mode, shut down or reboot. If you want to standby or shut down, uh, leave it on exactly and then pick the hours. We're just going to say zero and then the time of day. And so for us, if we say five o'clock, we'll shut it off at six o'clock. And then we're going to leave it for any day of the week. Uh, you can also do it so it say it shuts down every 12 hours. So what you would do here is say go to 12 and then click every nth hour. And so once it's turned on, then it will shut down at the 12th hours. So next we're going to look at RTC Wake. And so when we click on that, we see there's a couple different states here. And so one other thing we can do is say don't suspend since we already have auto shutdown and you can wake only. And so say we want to wake at 9 a.m. or 8 a.m. We'll say, click at 8 there. It doesn't show up here. And then we could click standby and it will enter the standby mode. Uh, next thing we have over here is wake on LAN. And so this does not open uh, 
wake up the server, what it does is wake up other machines. And so let's try that here. So first we need is a Mac or a name. And so we're going to call this red for, and we're going to call this black. And if we go over here, we have the black server. And so next we need the Mac address and the IP address. And where you find those is on your router. And so if you go to a router, so our black server is our elite server. So we're going to copy the IP address and we're going to put that right here. Next, we're going to copy the MAC address, paste that in, and then we're going to click save. And so now we have the IP address. And so what we can do is send a awake signal to that. So what we'll do is we'll shut down the server. And so now we're going to click on that. And so then next we have to add in our LAN card. And so now here I'm going to switch cameras here. And sorry for the bad, Im bad image quality. And there you can see it starting. Uh, one other thing that you might need to do is set up your uh, other server to wake up LAN in the BIOS. And I'll leave a link up above on how to change your BIOS settings. Uh, besides that, that's how we set up wake up LAN on land and reset perms and auto shutdown. And so today's question of the day is, what do you plan on using wake up land for? And you can leave that down in the uh, links below. Have a great day and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.